The scenes from Houston may seem eerily similar to people in the tri-state. It's been nearly 42 years since a stampede at a concert by The Who. In 1979, 11 people died and about two dozen were injured as thousands of fans tried to get into Cincinnati's Riverfront Coliseum. Former Local 12 reporter Howard Ain covered many of the events and fallout from that stampede. He spoke with Alexa Helwig about that night and the similarities with what happened in Houston. The Who concert disaster is a story that will always be fixed in the mind of former reporter Howard Ain. He remembers camping out at the band's hotel on that December night in 1979. I got upstairs to their room where they were. And I was able to do an interview with Roger Daltrey and the other members of the WHO. And the big thing is they did not know what had happened. The news out of Houston Friday night brought back very familiar memories. A packed crowd at Travis Scott's Astro World Festival rushed toward the stage. Officials say people were crushed against each other. I couldn't believe this was happening again. It didn't make any sense. Didn't people learn? At the Who concert in Cincinnati, there were no reserved seats and fans were trampled, trying to get to the best spots. In Houston, the chaos unfolded as people were already there. More than 50,000 of them were crammed together at the outdoor venue with no assigned seating. After the, uh, the Who concert tragedy, they said we're not going to do seating the way it was where people would just come in and first come, first serve. They're going to do assigned seating. That way... The people would not have to rush the theater in order to get a great seat. Video shows first responders driving to victims through the crowd as the rapper performs. It continues to raise the issue of safety standards at concerts and festivals. It's 42 years, but still, it happened. You should have learned, and this should not have happened again. Alexa Helwig, Local 12 News. A University of Dayton student is one of at least eight people who died at the festival in Houston. 21-year-old Franco Patino was a senior who is currently working at co-op program in Mason.